Hi everyone, this is Rick Slark with Slark Consulting Group and today I want to talk briefly about marketing and specifically about the five steps a buyer goes through when making a decision. This will help you as you market. Let's dive into it. So the first step is you recognize a problem. Um, the car is not functioning properly, the saw that you were using has stopped working, and you have a perceived need. There's something that has gone wrong and you need to get that handled. So the second part of that is you begin to search. So first off, there's an internal search. Uh, what have I used before? Um, what marketing have I seen? And all of these things begin to play into your mind as to how to solve it internally. And then you look externally. Who do I know that has had this problem? Um, how, who did they use? What um, um, commercial or advertisement have I seen? Um, what reviews are there? Those kind of things begin to happen on an internal and external search. And then you begin to gather um, and evaluate your possible choices. So I have all of these choices and then I begin to make a choice based upon my consideration set or my evoked set. And you're deciding now, do they have the color I want? Is it the price I want? Is the quality what I want? And people make a choice, and we'll talk more about that in just a second. And then finally, you make the outcome, and they purchase or they don't. And then there is this, along with the outcome, did I make the right choice? A lot of us call that buyer's remorse. And there is this process, did this product do what it said it was going to do? And all of that evaluation comes in part five. So this is what we call the evoked set or the consideration set. And at the top, you're putting together as you're evaluating all the brands. Um, you want to be as a business on the left hand side. Um, but you're not always going to be perhaps on that side, but let's walk through it. So the consideration is we have all these brands. We move to the second layer, which is our known brands and our unknown brands. You obviously want to be a known brand. You move through that process then and you become the acceptable brand. They've determined your quality, your price, the delivery, all of those things are acceptable to them and you are the acceptable brand, and what do they do? They purchase it. Now in this little model, it's a very simple model, but it provokes a lot of questions that you should be looking at as a business owner or you, with your, you or your team, um, and asking yourself, number one, um, are we a known brand or an unknown brand? If we're an unknown brand, the next question then, how do we move to the known brand? What steps do we need to take to get to that known brand or that evoked set? You move on down to the next one. Um, are we an acceptable brand, unacceptable brand, or are we overlooked? This happens to me a lot. When I order a pizza, there are several great pizza places in our town, but there are only a few that are top of mind for me and others are overlooked brands. They might be better than the ones I buy, but I just forget about them. And so it's important, and you may be in that place, how do you move over to the acceptable brand? And then finally, you are a rejected brand. How do you become a purchased brand? So as you're marketing, um, think through these processes that your customers are gonna go through and then look at this simple model and figure out where you are and how you move to the evoked set. All right, if you have any questions, we can walk you through this process. It's a, 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 a really important uh, part of your branding and your marketing, and we'd love to help you. Uh, SlarkConsultingGroup.com, have a good day.